Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, thelandgeek.com. Let's have another virtual cup of coffee together. Still sticking with that bulletproof coffee. Feeling great. Leave me a comment. Let me know if uh, you're trying it as well. It's, uh, I think it's Dave Asprey, Bulletproof Coffee, or bulletproofexecutive.com. It's, it's just a little bit of fat in your coffee. Anyways, it's not here or there. Let's talk about something very, very important that people usually don't think about, and that's choosing your customers, right? We often think our customers choose us, and we're so grateful that we've got these great customers and they're happily paying us money. But when you're doing owner financing, it's not a one-off transaction, right? I don't really care if I have a difficult customer, if I'm only gonna deal with them one time, right? They pay me cash, I give them the deed of the property, and we're done, and that's it, right? Um, I won't keep hammering them with promotions because they were too difficult in the beginning, but now we're done. But when we're talking about relationships and a 15-year note, a 10-year note, a five-year note, and these people are gonna be in our lives for this long, we gotta be pretty certain this is somebody that we really enjoy working with in the sense that they are honoring their commitment as well to make payments and respect you and your time. So sometimes, if I have a customer who doesn't respect that, doesn't honor that, and they'll call me or they'll email me and say, hey, can I get this extension? Can I get that extension? Um, I've got a million questions about the property. They never even bothered to go look at the property, but they want me to do all their due diligence for them, even though it's on easy terms and you know we have all these things set for them. There comes a, a, a fine line between good customer service and someone that is taking too much of our time and is not worth the hassle. In those cases, I quickly fire them. Very quickly, very politely, not mean about it, not emotional. This just isn't a good, mit, good, good match. Here's some other sellers you might wanna work with and I'm not gonna be able to make that extension for you. We have a agreement, blah, 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 that's it. So sometimes you just gotta choose your customers. If you want more tips, tricks, techniques on how to make an incredible income, actively or passively, buying and selling raw land, go to www.thelandgeek.com, download the Passive Income Blueprint,